the Friday matinee on your hometown station, AM 1220K, HTS. I'm George. I am T, oh, and we works. have a it. full house. A full house. I think this is one of the first times we've ever had a completely full desk here. Uh, at, well, well, we've had... We've here had in a, this space? Kind of cr- yeah, we did. We had, we had oh, the we had the choir and the, all, yeah. But, but I mean, this is all, everyone's at a desk like with a, a panel microphone. here. I feel like this, the press. Right? Oh. You know, or what's your line? <laughs> what is my line? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's your sign? Um... I want to talk a little bit. Now, when I was six years old, Mm -hmm. six years old, let's go back a a few years. Those were great years, by the way. I really thought that I could fly. I thought I'm just missing a little piece of the puzzle here. Right? Like you. But do you ever have those dreams where you 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 knew you? Me too. And you wake wake up up. and you go, "Come on, we there must be something evolution wise we lost. We had to be flyers." I was I was sure I was just missing because you had like Superman, you had the Bugaloos, yeah, the Bugaloos. I didn't care about the show. I just wanted just wanted yeah for the fun. But of course there was. Peter, Peter Pan. Pan. See what I did there? Oh, <laughs> and can I tell you, my daughter, when she was little, we took her. She'd first, first seen the story of Peter Pan. She'd now, did heard you see the, the story. Play or the or the we movie? saw the movie, okay. but she had read. We'd read the story to her when she was very little. She's about two and a half, three years old. And when she saw a real live Peter Pan somewhere, she grabbed a hold of that boy's neck and was not going to let him down. She was so in so, love. Let's with go, up, Peter up. Pan. And so, it, it grow, you know, within our household, he was he, legendary. legendary Legendary, the story of Peter Pan. Exactly. Even though he's a little bit of and a you can never, ears, you can never really. get enough Peter Pan. Uh, interestingly enough, the Canyon Theatre Guild will be um, thank goodness putting on Peter Pan because we need and more Peter Pan. Uh, as far as I know, it's the first uh, in in Canyon Theatre Guild history that they will be putting this on. So we have a few people here. First of all, we have John. Pronounce your last name for me. Loose switch. I knew that. Loose switch. And Aaron Chalakian. Mm-hmm. And we have Jane. Garner. 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 Mm-hmm. Got it. And of course. Jackie Belaguin, the director. Welcome <laughs> to the Friday Night Day. So, uh, um, talking about this, first of all, uh, Jackie, you hail all the way from uh, some some other port known as Great Britain. I do. I'm actually from North Wales. North I'm Wales. Welsh, yes. Okay. Yes. You and Tom Jones, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yes, indeed. Do you guys know each other? Or is that, uh, <laughs> oh, well, like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, a, what a lady. I tell you. <laughs> That's her right there. She's a lady. Now, we, uh, you've been with the Guild for a few years. You've directed other pieces. Uh, how thrilled were you that you were able, that they, you were chosen to direct Peter Pan? You know, I was really thrilled. It it kind of um, let me know that maybe I did a good job first time around, so they're asking me back again. And they gave me a choice of Peter Pan or Christmas Carol, and I'd done Christmas Carol a couple of times. And I thought, you know what, Peter Pan sounds fantastic. And they gave it to me, and I'm absolutely thrilled. And this is a big Peter Pan, though. It's a big show. It's a big musical, so. Now, is it... it the classic stage version, or is there a a couple different stage versions on this? There's quite a few different stage okay. versions. This one is the musical, the right. British musical by uh, Peter Charter Robinson. So okay. we have like 12 songs, 14 dances. I mean, it's just and lots of actors. Outstanding. So yeah, very, very exciting. And you're holding auditions, I think they're tomorrow, correct? We, tomorrow, Sunday, and our callbacks will be Monday. Got it. Okay. Uh, Jane, what is your role in this whole process? I will be the voice coach or the... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? The dialect coach, actually. Dialect yeah. So I'll coach. be keeping a close eye on everybody to make Jingles sure. Jingles ears and die. That is, that is yeah. And I tell you, clearly you're from New York, and that's a great thing. So your, <laughs> oh your ability. Uh, you also hail from uh, uh, overseas. Yes, I do. I'm from England, England. from a town called Wolverhampton. Mm-hmm. And that's in the Midlands, meaning middle land of, uh, of England. Somebody has to and come from um, there, you know. It, well, you know somebody has to come from us, Wales, you know. <laughs> yeah, uh-oh, here we go. We got to, now, for most of us... If it's either Liverpool or London, and we don't really know where anything else uh, well, is. So well, well, really, it's very close to Birmingham, which is the second okay. largest um, capital of city. Alabama. Got it. Yeah, okay. that's it, kind of. And uh, and so yeah, so I came over here in '99, and oh. uh, Jackie and I have known each other for quite some time. So we have our little banter with uh, our dialogue and and and, uh, and dialects. So I'm here just to keep an eye on things. Just make sure that uh, you know you don't sound too silly. Oh, well, Americans try well, to do British accents. No, they can sound silly. No, they can sound silly. Oh, good, yes. Good. <laughs> Karen Chalakian yes. uh, uh, done many many things at the Candy Theater Guild. Yes, right, let I me have. guess: Are you what are you what are you doing with this one? I'm actually choreographing this one, oh. yeah. which I'm very very excited about. And um, I've choreographed for Jackie once before for Cinderella the Pantomime, and it's quite an experience. So I'm excited to ha- do it all over again. Erin, a killer hoofer, by the way. You should see her tap dance. Yeah. Oh, right. thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. And John, hello, yes. hello. Uh, well, I plan on auditioning for Peter Pan. Um, <laughs> but you're here to talk about uh, another event that we've got. 
Correct, coming yes. Up. Okay. Another event coming up at the Guild is the annual Hollapalooza, which is our annual, annual holiday fundraiser. Uh, and what it primarily does is it helps support the kids' workshops that we do throughout the year at the Canyon Theatre Guild. And this year is going to be a very special show uh, because it has its own little plot line for the kids this year. Plus, of course, there's always a silent auction that goes on and a little dinner. Uh, so we plan on having a lot of fun. Uh, along with that, of course, we have the Christmas Carol, the musical coming up, opening the end of this month, actually, on November 27th. Exactly. And uh, Christmas Carol, the musical, uh, Kenny Theodore the Guild does not do the Christmas Carol every year, but they usually, when they do, they do different versions, which is really awesome. Yes. Because you kind of see a little different bit of a different take, and it's always immensely, immensely popular to the point they usually do like five shows a week, don't they? Something or, or even crazier. Yes, even crazier. In fact, I think uh, this year, at one point, for the final week, they might be doing up to nine shows uh, continuously, one That's after it. another. That's Tuesday amazing. through Monday. Wow! My my hat's off to the actors who, who do that. But of course, with what, what I know about that is that it's, you get a lot of good talent coming out for shows like that, and then if they stick around, the rest of the shows are, are a breeze. So it's really where some of our best talent has come out of those holiday shows. Definitely. Uh, Even in New funny. York, it's eight shows, nine shows. That's that's quite impressive. But you guys are a well-oiled machine by the time you are you are doing that. So how, how nice for the... And I love the idea that it's a different version, you know, that you yes. can go uh, constantly and see something else, come away with something else. It's it's nice. Uh, I, think it's, I think this is the version they did it was uh, in 2000 when they actually opened the theater down the street it was the very first show they opened with if i'm not mistaken so there are great songs in that one and, and some really cool stuff we are speaking with john jackie jane and aaron who you know doesn't has whose name doesn't start with a j <laughs> from the canyon theater guild the and, can part and uh, let me yes. talk about Hollapalooza a little bit more john uh, now have you already had uh, is, uh, is are the rehearsals underway or are you okay so you've got yeah. everybody picked out ready to go that's correct yes okay. we actually go on uh, december 4th okay so that's just a couple weeks away mm -hmm. uh, three weeks ish mm -hmm. right? yeah i can't believe that it's tick, right tick, tick 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 yeah. and he's been very modest because he hasn't even mentioned they actually did put the show together himself and wow. he wrote the original song so really? give yourself a pat mm -hmm. on the back give there, yourself we, we gotta, you. we gotta I got you. Bit, uh, <laughs> I got you back. More, I'll, I'll you. So, uh, I had no idea. I mean, I've seen you on stage, and you also, if I'm not mistaken, you're still at box office. Uh, Good, Kennedy yes. Guild. So, if you call in to make reservations, you or walk in, you may see John up there at the front. <laughs> now, you're a young fellow. Have you been uh, with the uh, Kennedy Theater Guild for a while? You know, I've actually only I've been with the Guild for about two years. Uh, I came actually literally two years ago because my first show of the Guild was It's a Wonderful Life around this time. And ever since then, I kind of just dived right into it and started working there in the box office and also just did one show after another. I did nine shows in a year and a half there. Wow. So you kind of like it. Yes. <laughs> I did a little bit. Just a little bit. You could say that. Holy moly. That is great. And Jane... Got me off this crazy thing called love. I always think of um, I always think of the Jetsons, you know. Uh, Jane, how many, have you worked for the Canyon Theatre Guild before? Um, not actually for them, okay. but I've been along to many shows here, oh, and um, you know, Jackie. We we kind of we kind of team up together and uh, and we work in different areas throughout the our lives. The Brits kind of gravitate towards each other. <laughs> yes, we do. I understand her. Well, yes, I mean, that's the <laughs> trick. And, and I understand her, ah. so that's it helps. <laughs> Your English is very really good. good. <laughs> Whatever. Now, well, it's a yes. It, you know, I mean, I've been around the guild for twenty one years, but I don't get out as much as I used to. So it's good to see that that we always have fresh faces coming in. That's the wonderful thing about about uh, that organization down the street is it's it's not a click it's not where everybody just does this it's thing. a you great really machine that put mm -hmm. brings talent in puts talent out rotates i mean it's a wonderful rube goldberg kind of uh, machinery on, say, let me google that that. Google that. <laughs> <laughs> that people come and they go and they have you know this the, uh, they might be backstage they might be doing the sound they might be and the, and it's lovely the education and the experience that that the theater and offers the family experience too see so many families come together on that yes um Erin, how long have you been acting? Um, I started acting my freshman year at College of the Canyons. I don't even know if it's called freshman technically, but my first year at College of the Canyons, so it's been uh, two and a half years really? now. Yeah. But you've been dancing for. I've been singing and Twitter. dancing. I've been dancing since I was four, and I started singing my freshman year of uh, high school. Wow. So I did everything else, and then I found I got the acting bug my and there it is. <laughs> a couple of years ago yeah now shout out to your alumni uh, to your association what high school were you um, I went to Hart High School I was actually in uh, Hart Show Choir for four oh. years yeah 
Well, we had them on not too long ago. We did. We had. I was so. wondering if you were because it is. Uh, I always say that there's something in the water in the Santa Cruz Valley. We have such wonderful talent, and each of the high schools brings something different to. Absolutely. Because I know certainly at Canyon Theater Guild, you get them from all the 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 different high schools, and their the the programs and the teachers that do have uh, some arts programs that they're working with put put out some yeah. great great talent. And and, and the best thing about that is in high school you think you you. You've, you've made it. Yeah. You're like, I am the best <laughs> I will ever be. And then you get out of high school and you see all of the different things you oh, yeah. can accomplish. And I never, never imagined I'd be choreographing shows or directing solo performances and teaching tap dance and all of these things. So will there be a box step? Will there be the, or, or a grapevine? Um, then George could do it. Two, I, I try and keep away from those, I've, but I've yeah, I'm sure there might be I a couple. I tried a pot of array once. It was, uh, it was not pretty, but yes. Um, that's great. Now, you mentioned Cinderella the Pantomime, also known as Cinderella the Panto. Yes. which is kind of an art form that not a whole lot of people are that familiar with. Jackie, though, is the queen of panto, as it were, and you write them and perform them around, do you not, outside I of do. Santa Clarita? I do. I have a, a professional theater company in Plano, which is just outside of Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Right. And we just have our world premiere coming up of I adapted um, King Arthur into a panto. It's never been done before, so if it flops, it wasn't my fault. If it's <laughs> if it's fantastic, it was all me. It was all you. <laughs> Can um, you walk us through the panto, what 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 it is as an art form? Yeah, it's, it's the genre of expect? panto... Um, it basically, it's Commedia dell'arte, it's opera, it's over-the-top characters. And basically, John Rich in 1717 decided, he was a, an actor-manager in London in the West End, and he decided to mix all those genres together and came up with panto. And it isn't mime, it's very loud, it's over-the-top, it's colourful. It's um, the, the leading man is a woman, the leading woman is a man. Um, the, the good always overcomes evil. Um, there's always a ghost, please don't ask me why, that appears for no <laughs> apparent reason yeah, you can join in it's interactive I think that's the biggest thing of all um, it's so interactive it's the only time you can take a child to the theatre and you can say yell at the actors and they can they can actually join in and say boo it's behind you oh no it isn't oh yes it is and in Great Britain um, you know some of our most famous actors so Anthony Hopkins I mean Piers Brosnan they've all played a dame They've always wanted to play a dame, and they have done. As well as the, John has. As well as yeah. John. John. John he was, he's the best ugly sister ever. I tell you. <laughs> ever. <Aww. laughs> and, and Compliment time. <laughs> <laughs> ever. <laughs> now, your background, Jackie, uh, I know you've been out here for quite a while, or at least in the United States for quite a while, like 20 years or so, if I'm not mistaken. Am yes, I right? Yes. Yeah, I remember a few things. Yes. Uh, but uh, what was what was your original background coming into theater? Have you always been an actor? Have you aspired for that? or what? I, I've been on the stage since I was four years old. Um, the only time off stage was the age of 14 when I just wasn't interested at 14 <laughs> in the theater until I was 22. And then I started a theater company in London uh, when I moved to London. And I've been in an, I toured in Rep for seven years. I've toured all over Europe. I've been very lucky. I've worked with some of the biggest Rep companies in Great Britain. And I've just been very blessed. I've done a lot of plays and, um, and I'm still learning. Still learning. And if I can just go on stage and have a good time, then I'm accomplishing what I want to do for my soul. And that is just enjoy and hopefully have people on stage enjoy what we're doing. So. Well, outstanding. And Jane, your background? Are you... Yeah. made your way here from I'm actually um, a high school teacher I have a tutoring business here and um, amongst um, the various subjects that I teach uh, voice is one of them so I have um, you know I've taught one or two actors and actresses along the way uh, since I've been here and really you know especially when they want English roles um, that's where I've kind of helped helped along just so I can really fine point and fine tune so that it doesn't have too much of a twang or right. that, that it sounds authentic you know so um but yeah i'm, I'm a teacher by trade outstanding mm -hmm. well, how fun is this so uh cinderella uh, actually let me let me our 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 vin scully turned over again we are speaking <laughs> we, we use our little timer so when, <laughs> when to interject uh, we are speaking with jackie jane john and aaron <laughs> from the canyon theater guild uh talking about a few things coming of course uh, uh Christmas Carol, the musical, opens in two weeks. Three weeks? Two November weeks. 27th. November 27th. That is two weeks. Mm -hmm. And then Peter Pan is actually running at the end of January, correct? Yes, we open the end of January through all the way through to the end of February. Outstanding. So, and that's going to be a main stage production, or is it on the... It's it's a f the family show. Right, okay. Yeah. 
perfect, but it's going to be at the Canyon Theater Guild. Yes, it okay. Is. So that is awesome. Auditions are tomorrow. Uh, from when do they start? One o'clock. We go from one to five both okay. days, Saturday, Sunday, and our callbacks are from Monday six Monday, to nine. Six six to nine. And, yeah. and if someone's listening and thinks, "Oh, I might want to do that," what's required? What are the What do they need to be prepared for? Well, I'll put them on their toes. This time, we're not doing cold reads. We are asking for a minute or less monologue of their choice, 16 bars of a song of their choice, and they will have to dress to move because Erin has choreographed a little piece for them to, to follow her just to see if they can actually move. I and have seen people audition who actually show up in work clothes. Don't do that. Please don't. <laughs> don't. And don't the 16 bars, slacks. do they need to have accompaniment? Are they doing it a cappella? What's the... Not I think what we need is Erin. Please explain. I'm not really. <laughs> we good need at that. Um, a CD with a karaoke track, or it can be on your phone as well. Okay, there we go. Mm. Okay. And George, I do believe hopefully you're going to audition for Hook. Well, you never know what's <laughs> going to happen, Jackie. Uh, I'll have to check my schedule and see. As soon as I Google what the length of 16 bars is, because I, <laughs> I don't. The only thing I had about 16 bars, I end up very drunk at the end. So yeah. uh, we'll work that out. But uh, and, and of course, Hollapalooza that is running December 4th. Fourth, yes. And that is a great, I, I tell you, I've been to those, and A, it's so absolutely adorable to see the children here in Santa Clarita. They get up there and they do their their, their holiday shows, uh, the holiday uh, holiday numbers and Christmas numbers, and then it's, a, it's so it's an age range from very young to teenage-ish. Yes, right? we, have, we have one as young as uh, five. Oh, you gotta come and, see oh. that. That's gonna be adorable. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and this show especially, it's a lot of young ones. Like, we have a lot of preteens in this uh, year's age group, and a few teenagers as well. Uh, but yeah, they're doing a great. It's really great to see, like, the youth of Santa Clarita come on and just show their talent. And Hollapalooza has been around for several years as a fundraising event. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it started by Leslie Barra uh, some years back, and then it, other people have taken it on and done great things with it. Looking forward to seeing what you can do with it, John. And of course, always, always enjoy your contributions and, and your enthusiasm for uh, local theater because you, you uh, express that in, in, through social media, which is awesome. And that's what I like also is like actually seeing people in person every now and then. <laughs> and uh, and Aaron's photoshopping talents oh, are yes. absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Thank so uh, you. we are we are very excited about this um, uh, Peter Pan coming up Christmas Carol coming up in a couple weeks Hollapalooza at the Canyon Theatre Guild you can always learn more about going to canyontheatre.org that's the traditional spelling T-H-E-A-T-R-E dot org or call 799-2702 for the box office so do we go do we break at 47 or 49 I said I 49 okay we got a couple well, was, minutes and left. i was gonna ask john. i was all shoring this up i'm like oh we got oh we have two more minutes okay. john i was gonna ask you very quickly your background where where did you come from well i actually came from a small town uh just an hour north called pine mountain club oh, you uh, know where that is yes i was uh, i was homeschooled and I didn't come down to San Clarita until about uh, 2012, so I didn't get to go to one of the awesome high schools down here. Uh, I was on an online high school. Uh, but otherwise, I went to College of the Canyons for film. I was studying film for film directing and uh, screenwriting. And then decided to try out the acting side of things. And I saw that there were auditions for the Canyon Theater Guild, and that was for uh, It's a Wonderful Life. So now we've come full circle. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Christmas very good, never very leaves. good. That is outstanding. So uh, looking forward to this and more. So Canyon Theatre Guild, again, down the street. Right down the street from us now. Isn't it nice we're all neighbors now? Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Now, you guys, this is the first time you've been here because I know Jackie uh, and Aaron, I know you've been at the the other place. What do you think of the difference? Is it, is it kind of cool? Yeah, what's it's, the new studio like? It's so fantastic. Nice, right? It's so nice. It's light and bright and airy and convenient. And it's it's, it's no nice that we don't have to walk up the stairs. Yes. Yeah, there's that. There's that. <laughs> but we do have stairs in the back. You want, this goes all the way back almost to the street. So oh, if, wow. you wanna, yes. if you want some stairs, we got stairs. We can get you a little exercise. A little exercise. So this is outstanding. Really looking forward to it. Uh, Peter Pan auditions tomorrow. Christmas Carol opens uh, the 27th. Hallapalooza, December 4th. The Canyon Theater Guild. Uh, corner of Main and 6th Street in Old Town New Hall. This is the Friday matinee. We'll be back with the final wrap-up after this. Welcome back There's to the Friday no matinee here in Hometown Station, AM 1220, KHTS, IMT. I'm George. I guess I, our Vince Scully timer is done for the day. I love how much talent we have in the Valley, both uh, acting, musically, artistically. It's just every time we have the opportunity to open these microphones to someone in our, you know, in our zip code, nearby zip code, any of that, I am always so impressed 
impressed with how talented the people who come through this door are. We're very fortunate to live where we live and to have the one, not just the talent that lives here, but the opportunities to go and see that talent, hear that talent, watch that talent. It's, it's, it's a great, great community for that. Exactly. And, you know, no matter where you live in the Valley, it's an easy, it's an easy get. It's an easy so. get. And the theaters are beautiful. You know, the, the idea that even the SC Philharmonic who will be at Heart High, that's a lovely auditorium. And it, for years, was the one auditorium that, you know, most of the high schools used. That's true. Great equipment, great sound systems, super acoustics. And if you're going to go see a free Philharmonic, very talented, community-based this is the one to go to. No, it's this, uh, the 22nd. 22nd. And the kids will have an opportunity at 2 o'clock to go and touch the instruments, see the instruments, I'm try the instruments. I'm glad they explained that, too, because, yeah. you know, we were doing the, the read for that. <laughs> it's like zoo, a live, uh, uh, a musical petting zoo. Hmm. Animals that sing, That's dance, right. what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but the idea that they get to uh, that they get to really test drive an instrument and then watch it and listen to it in action, it's, it's such a gift, such a gift. And again, I, I I can't uh, overstate the the influence that seeing uh, the orchestra in LA when I was eight years old had on me, and uh, and being able to get it and all of a sudden really taking an interest in it. And, and again, it expands the mind. Even my mind yes, has it, been expanded. And I think it's really important if you have the opportunity to take it. It's and it's free. Brahms and Sunday Tchaikovsky. Afternoon, you'll be home by dinner time. Oh yes. your Sunday wine and, down. And it is it is crunchable uh, audio. It is, Brahms and Tchaikovsky are two of the most listenable composers. Exactly. Quite lovely. Nothing complicated you're not going to feel you know silly or like you know oh wow you'll know when to clap this. yes <laughs> perfect yes uh, 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 uh. and of course canyon theater guild uh, always a fun place in this i've been i've been involved in for many many years and uh, it's always good to see newer people come in every everyone that uh, we talked to today has only been there for the last couple of years right and yet moving their way up through things like being able to have the opportunity to put together a, a fundraiser like john who just like i said just came out uh, uh, from here from pine mountain club a couple of years ago came out of the mountains good for him aaron uh, you know 20 years old i think 20 21 uh 20 actually i think he's just turned and been so at coc heart yeah. high and now choreographing for the community so that's uh, so people who think that th they don't have opportunities oh no it, they it, do if you want to get back into theater if you did it, it a lot of people come in they did it when they were young and coming back around for something to do maybe the kids are a little older or you just want to see if you still got your chops which is what I did yeah. you know I hadn't done it in a while so and and you and I ended up staying there so it's it's a really it's a really awesome awesome thing to do so make sure uh, Kenny uh, SC Philharmonic dot org SC Philharmonic dot org and then Canyon Theater Guild is Canyon Theater T H E A T R E dot org um and Keep they talking. always have the uh, the audition material there, you know, like uh, jo they were telling today, the auditions are this weekend for uh, Peter Pan, and you just need to have some music available, be ready to move, you have to have a minute monologue, you can get all that information. If you ever want to audition for Canyon Theatre Guild, go to their website, look up the info, show up, and, and just you know, put your hat in that ring, put your acting hat in that ring. Yes, do that thing. And I think the Philharmonic's going to be looking for more musicians. So scphilharmonic.org, an opportunity if you'd like to, you know, if you studied or played instruments once upon a time or still do, and you're looking or you want to give back, even the professional musicians, this is a great way to give back to, uh, to the community and the future pillar leaders of tomorrow. Exactly. So this has been the Friday Matinee on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. Stick around for Mike Conscious Dad coming up next and have a great day.